sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, folks, Pi Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install the uh, SDR++ software on a Raspberry Pi 4. Now, I'm using the 4 gig Pi for this, so I just made a directory here for just to keep everything under one thing here. You don't have to, but that's up to you. So anyway, we need to clone the directory here. And I'll throw a link in the description for all this, but we'll go ahead and download this guy. Then if we do an LS, as you can see, we need to CD into him. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then if we do another LS, as you can see, we got a fair amount of things here. So we're going to go ahead and copy a script here. So we're just going to name it run.sh. And we're just going to paste it in here. Let me get it. And this is going to install everything for us. Now we're going to add <clears throat> right here on the CMake, we're going to do a space dash because we want to build this for RTL. So we need to put in the following here. Let me get it. Copy, paste, control, X, Y, and enter. So now that we have that done, we need to make it executable. So we'll do a chmod plus x run. So there we go. So all we need to do now is period forward slash run dot sh. And this is going to go ahead and install this software. So set back and enjoy a cup of coffee or a drink or whatnot, and uh, be patient because this will take a little bit. I'll be back when it's done. All right, a few minutes or so later, we are installed. I mean, it uh, made it, so now we need to install it. So we'll just do a simple sudo make install Oop. well actually duh we already ran the auto script i'm so used to doing it the other way never mind so let's open up vnc here on the pi and we'll just go ahead and we'll delete that guy. But anyway, if we go to the Pi icon and go to Other, it should be under there. Now, if you want a, a shortcut, right-click, add the desktop. So there we go. All right, so now if we double-click on it, it comes up. We'll give it a second there. Then we'll uh, click on source there. Then we'll click on RTL SDR. And we got it on narrow band. We can go to AM. Oh. <clears throat> Let's turn the volume down. There we go. So there we go. So let's open up a terminal here and type in top and see what we're doing here. So we are definitely using some CPU with this, that's for sure. Now obviously, if I'm not VNC, that would definitely help out the, uh, the lag or whatnot. So that would definitely free up some CPU, but as you can see, 
we're using about 152 percent so and if we run H top <clears throat> you can see the cores here now let me turn this guy off well we'll stop it and see what happens there that really lightened the load now let me close out of, of VNC but I'm going to start it here locally all right so now it's fired back up and as you can see it's uh, definitely started again so if we get out of that guy and run top again as you can see VNC is not running and we're running about 142 to 150 percent on the CPU so it is definitely a CPU hog and like I said this is the 4 gig pi so if you got the 8 gig that would definitely help you out a little bit but uh, other than that that's pretty much it so I'll throw a link in the description for this and uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned